Here on Oklahoma Gardening, you hear us talk a lot about plant nutrients, and the big three nutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and these are the ones that you might uh, most likely find deficient in your garden. And today we grew a bunch of examples here showing what happens if you grow plants without these essential nutrients. And first of all, if you look at all of our plants, you notice there's a striking difference between the plants that were grown with a complete fertilizer and the ones that were grown without certain essential nutrients. And if we look over here at our plants that have been fertilized with complete fertilizer, they have all the nutrients they're supposed to have. They have a nice green color on the leaves. They have nice blooms. They're large. And on our tomato here, we've got a lot of nice growth. And we're even starting to get some flowers here on the top. Now, we did uh, this example with tomatoes and with marigolds to show you what the differences are between vegetable crops and flowering crops. Well, if we move over here, to our plants that were grown without any nitrogen, you'll notice they're much smaller than the other plants. And also, if you look here at the leaves, they're markedly lighter green color than the ones that had the nitrogen in it. And back here on our tomato plants, these have been grown without nitrogen for so long that the tops are actually starting to die. And you'll notice that the leaves are all very small and the plants are falling over, they're just not very healthy looking. So nitrogen is a very important nutrient for plants. Well, moving on over here to our phosphorus, the first thing that you notice is that the leaves appear to be purple. That is a classic sign of phosphorus deficiency, is you have the purple leaves. You'll also notice that the flowers are much further behind. And here on our tomatoes, you can see where the leaves on the lower parts are actually very dark purple, almost black, and they're starting to fall off because they haven't had any phosphorus. And phosphorus is also very important for fruit and seed production in plants. Well, finally, moving on to plants grown without potassium, you'll notice that they're not quite as bad off as the other two, but they're a little bit lighter in color. We have smaller flowers, and here on our tomatoes, you'll notice we've got some scorching here along the leaf margins, and that's a sign of potassium deficiency. Well, these nutrients not only affect the growth above ground of plants, but they also affect the growth below ground. Here in our complete marigold, I wanted to show you the roots, and you'll notice they have nice branching structure. They're also really long, so those roots are there. They can take up the nutrients they need. Now, if we go over here to the plant grown without nitrogen, the roots, they're branched, but they're all really small. It just stunts the overall plant. On our phosphorus plant, you'll notice that the roots are really affected, and that's because phosphorus helps roots grow. The roots are very long. They don't have much branching, and so the plant is unable to take up many nutrients at all because the phosphorus hasn't allowed it, the lack of phosphorus, I mean, hasn't allowed it to develop a root structure that it needs. Finally, you'll notice that on our plant grown without potassium, it has a good root structure because potassium affects the top of the plant, the flowering and the size more than it does the root structure. Now, all of these nutrients are very important to the plant and if you notice that you're having some problems with your plants in your garden, what you probably ought to do, first of all, is get a soil test taken before you start adding anything to your garden. And that way you'll know if your plants need some essential nutrients. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.